To give you a brief overview of the history of ATW Tech, uh, ATW Tech was founded by uh, our president, Michel Gay, where uh, he has developed a, a psychometric test that, that was used uh, by, uh, mostly by HR department for re recruiting and retention. This test was unique because it was, uh, it was a, a user-friendly test and also we were, we, could, we were able to match individuals between themselves. What he has in mind was basically to, uh, to tap the mass market with his test, which is why if we go back a year ago, we integrated that test into uh, an online dating site named Quebec Rencontre that we subsequently acquired uh, in October 2016. Uh, recently, we've also acquired uh, the platform, the text messaging platform of Voodoo Mobile, uh, which, which allowed to send text message for mobile marketing or to be used for alerting such as uh, uh, clinic appointments. More recently, because of this transformative acquisitions where we see our company growing from a million revenue business to a 13 million business, we rebranded the name of the company from Atman Code to ATW Tech to better align our vision and mission. What the, the investor have to uh, remember are basically the following. We're working in fast growing markets such as carrier billing and uh, text messaging markets. We're also working in an environment where it's recurring business or recurring revenue model and there's no collection risk in our, uh, in our uh, market. We've been experiencing strong growth over the last two years, as I said before, coming from a million to 12 million revenue business, and we're contemplating to continue in that route for 2018 and the following years through acquisitions. We have the right team in place, as I mentioned, to execute as well on our business plan. Our strategy is really to focus on building uh, carrier building distribution networks internationally through acquisitions through, and through organic projects. Just last year, we concluded the acquisition of Voxtel, and now we're in the midst of completing the acquisition of Plus Mobile. Plus Mobile is based in South America and had carrier agreements with more than 20 carriers and have operations in Argentina and Colombia. We also want to continue to build our database where we have more and more people performing our personality test that you can imagine for marketing agencies down the road, the value and the, the powerfulness of those database. Also, we have other acquisitions in the pipeline for 2018, so we're really aggressive on our, on our acquisition strategic plan for the future. In terms of our businesses and the industry and what we, uh, what we intend to do in that business is that ATW Tech is mostly focusing on the uh, fast-growing market, which are carrier billing markets and text messaging markets. We aim to basically build a distribution network internationally where we add carrier agreements and have the possibility basically to cross-sell our, our own products or our licensed products to all those markets. Just as an example, uh, the, in Canada, text message, 93% of the people uh, read the text message within three minutes. It's a huge market for us, and that's the goal that we, uh, we want to accomplish. We have an experienced and knowledgeable board of directors, as well as a management team with entrepreneurial spirit, solid at building relationship, uh, good experience in the tech sector, and also experience in integration of acquisitions and financing SEEK. Also, over the last year, we've built a solid sales force to basically bring our business development projects at, in a further stage. So I think with the management we have in place, we have the right team to execute on our business plan. Yeah, we decided to go public uh, in 2012 because uh, there was many reasons for that. Uh, first, we went public through a reverse takeover that uh, allowed us to uh, raise funds for the development of uh, ATW Tech. Also, the fact that we're public uh, and we wanted to basically grow through acquisitions and to go international, that was, that was easing the process of the uh, financing of those acquisitions where, for instance, we can raise capital by issuing shares to the seller. Also, uh, that improves visibility and credibility to the company 
And we can also have some incentive programs with our employees, equity-based programs, where we can align their interest to ours.